Welcome to the next episode of OS First Timer. Our next operating system to try out is Next Step 3.3 released in 1995. Next Step was an object oriented multitasking operating system developed by Next Computer to run on computers such as the Next Cube. This version was the last version release of Next Step before they released their next operating system called OpenStep. On the 4th of February 1997, Apple acquired Next for $429 million and used the OpenStep operating system as the basis for Mac OS 10.0 Cheetah to replace Mac OS System 9. Oh, and just for your information, the initial version 1.0 of Next Step was released in 1989. Anyway, now that Next Step is booted, the next step is to tell me the time. Oh, easy. 12.49am. Does that look pretty nice? <laughs> Although it's not really that time. Yeah. Um, like, okay, how, how is the time display? Does that look better than most operating systems? Well, it catches your eye straight away. and It's, it's, it's l l very much like a clock. Kind of like yeah. that one up there. Yeah. Remembering this is 1995. Okay, so this is in comparison to... The Windows 95, also released in 1995, had the same kind of greyish look. So all the windows, they had this grey look. I, I don't know, it must have been the thing for the 90s. Mm. But it actually had a start menu where all your programs were. And it had desktop icons. This doesn't have desktop icons. Yeah, I've it, noticed. <laughs> it has the dock. And this is the next step dock. And as you can see, you can actually grab this and slide it down to make it go away <laughs> if you don't want it and slide it up. So yep, that's the next step dock which was built upon in Mac OS X. And it's the same thing, although it's just been moved from the top yeah. to the bottom. I tell you what, this looks very much like a cartoon. And this me thing, I'm assuming that's the equivalent of my computer. That reminds me of Microsoft Bob with the whole concept of the house. House and, being your computer. And everything, yes, that's right. And why would you have a me, then another me there? Well, what is actually happening is my computer is actually here. That's the equivalent of my computer. Oh, and in my computer, you've got me, next admin, next apps, next developer, and next library. Okay, well, before you explain any more things, I've, I yeah, you've I've got, got to, to do, do stuff. The tasks first. Okay. But I'm, I'm just comparing the start menu of uh, Windows 95 is down here, and yet with Workspace, which I'm assuming is the next step menu, it um, it's already got everything there. Before, like with the menu, you have to click on it before it pops up. This is not what you would call a start menu. Workspace with all of that is not a start menu. Okay, well to me, it gives the impression of it. Um, and if I was comparing this to Windows 95, I would have to say Windows 95 would probably win. Although I do like the format of how the clock is there. Yeah, so. and remembering that is a dock and you can put whatever programs you want on yeah. it. Okay, anyway, so next the task. next task is... Right, save and create a text document. It's actually right, save and open. File, open as folder, new folder. Well, these are talking about folders. I want to actually write something. Um, text, you know, not a folder. So that confuses me. Edit, maybe I'm editing something. No, it's not letting me. Disk. You tools windows what's this it's you can open windows in this no no completely incompatible okay. edit o uh, open sesame i wonder what that does oh text x viewer i wonder what that is retex sleetex text plane or maybe this is it Oh, latex. Did you say latex <laughs> at the top? What's all this tech stuff? Um, so at the bottom there, you've got the words T-E-X. Yeah. And this menu now says this at the top. Oh, you know what? Look at the top. I'm just going to forget all that, and I'm going to go to where the pencil is on paper, and I think that's what I want. So Double-click items in the top. Okay. Well, I'm that's assuming this is it. But Can you just move it to, so it's in better view? I can't get rid of that thing. And oh, wait a sec. Let me get rid of the the dock thing. There we go. Now we can have that up there. That'll do. Okay. 
opening a text document. Now to save. I wonder what happens. Do enter. Okay. Maybe it saves it automatically. What's this? Oh, my thing's gone. You minimised it to the dock at the bottom. See, so I've that's almost that's like your taskbar, but it's big icons. It's almost yeah. like Windows 7 instead of just words. Yeah, and the X has lost its middle bit. Anyway, um, <laughs> file. I wonder if it'll say save. Where would you like to save it? Just in me? Just in me, yeah, that'll do. Um, just call it doc. There we go. I'm assuming Now close that's the program. Saved. Can I get rid of this thing? How do you get... Look at all the words on that thing. Yeah, info file, edit, format, windows, print, services, hide, quit. Oh, quit. Could yes. Probably could have done it. We'll okay. Quit. Fair enough. We'll click it. Well, haven't I already quit? quit quit it? No, you haven't. Now, oh, what's now, this? Now it's quit. But it's created all these other... No, things. this is like... Oh, okay. So you know how at the top of the screen, usually on Word document stuff, you'd got, you would have like file, edit and all of that. Yeah. Instead of it being across the top of each window, it's along the side on this thing. Right. Where did you save the document? To me. So I'll click, double click me. And there's, oh, there it is. That's the, obviously what's Great. in that. So I've got it. I found it. Me. Yep. Okay, Fantastic. Good. So was that easy or hard? Oh, a little bit of fiddling around, but I did eventually do it, yeah. The next task is calculate 129 plus 342. And you've got 20 seconds. So, okay, I'd assume it would be in apps. Um... Nothing in apps? No. I'll give you a clue. Um, he, he, well, this is a clue. Um, apps doesn't contain anything, but a folder called Next Apps does contain stuff. Ten seconds. Okay. Where's the calculator? Oh, no, I don't know how to fold down. Oh, here. That's up. Print terminal. Oh, where's it gone? There's no calculator. Edit, fax, graph, preferences, Three, terminal. Three, two, mail. one. Beep. Nah. Gone. Okay, by default, this operating system doesn't appear to have a calculator. I searched the web for one hour searching for a calculator, but there is a way to do calculations. Okay. Um, and you can actually do this same thing, this same method to do calculations have been carried out in um, Mac OS X. Yes. So this is what you can do. You can go to terminal.app, and this is where you do text-based commands. And from in here, it's almost like the Linux terminal or the um, Windows command prompt. Yeah. And what you do from there is you type in BC. So you can do the same thing on Mac. BC. So BC, press enter. What now. Is, what does BC stand BC, for? BC, I don't know what it stands for, but it allows you to do calculations. Okay. So without time typing BC, you can't do calculations. So the calculation I want you to do is. Maybe uh, it means bloody calculation. <laughs> bloody. <laughs> <laughs> bloody calculator. Go. Okay. Bloody calculator 129 plus 342. Plus, I'm um, assuming the plus is the normal plus. Yep. Yep, 342 you said. Something like that, yep. It doesn't matter. Um, and the equal sign, and then enter. Clue, you don't press equals. Oh, there it did it. Okay. Good, 471. Okay, what do you think about that? Knowing um, that you can just download a calculator, get one offered, well... I'd rather download a calculator, but if it took yeah. you so long... Yeah. Anyway, yep, yeah, it can be done. Okay, or done. you can make your own calculator using the next step, app builder or whatever you call it. Okay. Okay, so, the next step is to customise the look of your computer. You... I've tried search the web for another hour <laughs> looking how to do this. You can't change the desktop background okay. from the sources I've found. So that purple colour has to stay or whatever colour yeah. it is. Um, but you can change the icon spacing. So see this like spacing between icons, that's yeah. quite big. You can actually make that smaller or you can make the words a bit smaller. Stuff like that. Preferences. Oh no. I so how would you do that? Okay, here's a quick clue for you. Yeah. You simply go up over here to Info, then to Preferences. 
Can you guess from here what you'll do? So you want to change the icon spacing. Um. Okay, let's have a look. Oh no, is that that's a different thing. Now I have to go back again. Um, I wouldn't have a clue. So this is all the preferences oh, wait, so for dock, the dock. Shelf browser icon view. Okay, maybe it's that. Tile width. So that's the current tile width. How do you want to change it? Um, so how would you make it smaller? I wouldn't have a clue. No idea? No. Grab the edge, pull oh. it together. And then if you look now, they're much closer together. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, look, I would never have guessed that. Okay, now I'll give you something easier. Okay, so I'll give you the task of adding a program to the dock. So let's just say you thought, okay, I use configure a lot. Not that you really do, but let's say you wanted to use this a lot. Yeah. How would you add that to the dock? Well, I'm assuming you left, you go on it, you left click it, and you go to the space there and drop it. Yep. It, and, and it's it there. Works. Okay. And now how do you remove a program? Well, let me just see. It looks full up at the moment. So just, oh, what, oh well, <laughs> you remove it, I, I'm guessing. But yeah. what I want to do is try and um, I'm wondering how you can add more to it. Wait a sec, let me just add something else to it. Um, this thing. Oh. So the Apple dock would actually open up. So if you were to grab this and put it there, these apps would go, oh, here we go, here's some room okay, for you. Okay, so if I move that one there. Wait, I can't even move that one there. No, it no. doesn't want to move. There we go. Okay, that one went there. And then I could put it in. You can move the ones that have, see these three little dots? Those ones can move, but that one can't move. It oh, doesn't okay. have those three little dots. Oh, I see, and that one can't move either. We'll try it actually. No. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, okay, I understand. So it's, you've got limited. But this is a very low screen resolution. You can actually have a higher screen resolution. Oh, and that's a bin, by the way. Yeah. At the bottom. Um, but you can actually have a much higher screen resolution, which means this dock would be a bit smaller on the screen and you'd have a lot more space. Yeah. Okay, this is actually the resolution you're looking at is 640 by 480. Just out of interest, yeah. you could possibly make these smaller and then you could add more, I'm assuming. Which, would would, which is the equivalent of changing the screen resolution. Okay, yeah. So if you have a higher screen resolution, there's more pixels on the screen. With more pixels, there's more space, but everything's slightly smaller. Okay. Okay. The last task is to explore the operating system yourself. But what I'm going to give you is I'm just going to show you what's up here. Demos. And you can explore some of those apps. Okay. That come with it. Bug next. Let's have a look at what that is. Please use buggers to report software problems. Oh, okay. That's that. Yeah. Do you want to send Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah, I see. Okay, quit. Um, billiard app. Oh, okay, so you got a little billiard. Is thing. it good for 1995? Uh, well, this particular one looks all right. The only thing is, how do you. Sorry, Ma you scratched. Maybe um, what, what we could do is this dock looks like it's in the way. <coughs> So we'll just move this dock down. Oh, there. there's the thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wait a sec. Do you have to? You can't hit it with. But it was gonna. Oh, wait a oh there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. I worked it out. Oh, look at that. That's awful. It doesn't actually draw the movement. It just it just processes it. Thinks okay, yeah. this ball went here, and then it's like okay, that's okay, where they are. Okay, I want to quit it. That wasn't very good in my no. opinion. I don't want to um, explore any more of these things. I just want to have a look at the actual okay. operating system, but I can't get out of it. There's no way, because I'm so used to an X. Um, just don't know how to get out. Okay, so to close this info, workspace, this must stay open. Oh, so that... Or you can minimise it, but it must be an open program all the time. 
at the bottom there. Okay. So what are you going to do now? Uh, you kind of need workspace to do anything. Okay. Well, I'm, I've just brought the dock back again. It can do emails too. How do you think you do emails? Look at the dock. That thing? Yeah. Yeah. And an interesting feature on the emails... what internet system it uses. Well, all how do you explain what happens is how do you all your emails. You that's an email there, and then the email appears down here. So all your emails will appear in that little thing, right. and then you click it, and it appears here. So that's how the emails work. Wait, what's the actual internet browser on this thing? Um, well, you can try and find it. You don't even know if you're saying that. <laughs> well, I wasn't really going to get you to use the internet. Okay, well let's see out of you and me who can find the internet first. <laughs> find internet. <laughs> no, that's for searching oh, web your browser. emails. Web. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, look, it's in the email oh. app. Does it have a like a search bar anywhere? Services. Oh, I wouldn't know. That looks like oh, it's that's trying. To, to this one looks. It's like it's trying to fix the internet. We want to actually launch it. Local. Oh, that's connecting to like fax machines and all of that. Oh, okay. But yeah, I don't know where the internet browser is in this, but I do know that Next Step developed World Wide Web, which is actually what WWW stands for, and it was the world's first web browser. Oh, okay. You know, funny thing, I never knew what WWW stands for. Okay. Anyway, turn off the computer. Yeah, I've given up looking for the internet. Like, I originally thought it was Webster, so I thought, oh, the web, the internet. But no, Webster not. is just a dictionary. Oh, Webster. I used to have an old Webster. Oh, is that what Webster yeah, stands yeah, for? So Webster was the actual was, oh. brand of a dictionary, yeah. Okay, well, I didn't know that because I'm not really in the dictionary era, am I? I'm in the Google era. Yeah. Okay, look, I, I give up on the internet. Let's have a look. Log out, power off. Yep. There we go. There we go. What do you think of Next Step? I don't like Next Step. Okay. In comparison to Windows 95, I think Windows 95 is better. This is quite confusing. In my opinion, it's got more things on it than what you actually need. and. But it's they didn't like, even have a calculator. No, I know, but what I'm just saying, it had a whole stack of stuff that you didn't use half of it. And I don't know, it seemed like it was there to confuse you. So you so, just think it had a messy interface? Yeah, it was definitely cluttered because you couldn't even get rid of that thing that was in the middle. You could minimise it, but you said you could never close it. Um, I don't know, I, don't, I didn't like it. I can't really s put words to it, but I didn't really like it. The okay. only thing I actually liked was the clock format. There we go. Okay. Um, what about the dock? Did it look nice? I think the Mac dock's um, better than that and the fa and more practical as well. But of mm. course this was the very first which Mac built upon. So um, well, Mac obviously thought it was a good operating system since they bought it out and then built upon the dock and all that sort of stuff. But In fact, Steve Jobs had multiple demonstrations of it and looked at it quite a few times. There's videos of Steve Jobs trying this on YouTube, just right. like you trying it. Right. Um, but he, he has a more professional approach. But he really loved this. You okay. it. In fact, here's a quote from Steve Jobs. He actually said, I want to show you what it's like to work in the next computer's productivity environment an environment that has much, much better networking than PCs and Macs, and much, much better productivity apps that let people work together as groups and really increases their group productivity and collaboration. I, he said it was better than his own system. I can't, I just can't understand that because as far as I'm concerned, Windows was uncluttered. It had an actual menu which was logical. It had little icons. On the, and the rest of the desktop was all uncluttered, whereas this, there's bits all over, there's a dock over there, there's a thing here which you say isn't a menu, but to me looks like a menu. Then you have a me, a picture of a house which reminds me of Microsoft Bob. And Microsoft know. Bob was 1995 too. Yeah, there we go. No, I'm, I don't like, this is one that I can honestly say I don't like. Well, if it was 1995 and I just tried this Next Step 3.3, my next step would be to just install Windows 95. <laughs> Is it that bad? 
Yeah, I didn't like it. Okay. Not at all. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.